Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, Do the bears ate them. Good. Hey, what is going on, headers? It's Red here, and welcome back to another episode of Firewatch. Now, we just discovered that two teens were setting off fireworks, and they were skinny dipping, and we told them basically to knock it off, and now we are heading back to our lookout. So let's do that. And hopefully it's getting dark kind of fast, guys. So we better get back there as quickly as possible. All right, come on. Freaking log gets in our way all the time. All right, so the route that I'm taking right now, so we're right here. So I'm gonna go up the stream and then probably, I guess this is more like a river. Uh, and then our two forks lookout is right up there. So I'm just gonna go that way. I kinda wanna take a different route than how we got here just so we can explore the area just a little bit more and so okay I forgot how do we run there's there's a sprint button I know there is but we probably should oh this is definitely more of a stream not a river all right we just need to cross this stuff all right here we go come on yeah that's how we do it so a lot of you guys really enjoyed the first episode and wanted me to play more of this and I definitely want to and this game isn't too long so I definitely would like to finish this within like the next week if that's possible. Maybe try to put out an episode every other day or every two days. Uh, let me know what in the comments below what you guys think would be uh, enough but not too much. So I definitely don't want to do something like every single day. Alright, we need to f I need to figure out some of the controls real quick. Cause I forgot already. All right, uh, controls, cycle bar, use, move forward. Where is the sprint? Jog R. R is jog. Whoever has the R so as the. I have a bit of a confession to make. What is it? What is it? Um, look, I was I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. Um, it's not a big it's deal. Fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Hopefully we don't get eaten by, like, some wolves before then. Alright, so I, I definitely like this canyon area. This is cool. Oh, can you squeeze through here? Nearby storm, uh oh. There could be a flash flood and we'd be totally screwed. If there was one. Alright, let's see where we are on our map. If we're getting closer. So, we are almost there. So, at the end of the. So, there's gonna be a cache up here. So, we should probably check that one out. Get some more supplies. And then probably make a straight down to. Straight down, or not straight down, kind of diagonal. Straight down ish into our lookout. So let's get there before the storm comes. Oh gosh, come on. Alright, so here's the cache A. Here we go. Open it. Hopefully, it has some good stuff on it. Oh gosh, what is. Actually, all of them are 1, 2, 3, 4. That's what she said. That is what she said. 2. Very intuitive. I like this. Very easy. There we go. Beautiful, guys. Alright, so supply crate. We got a horn. Sweet. I definitely want to do that. Um, a flashlight. We definitely need that. Can we take? Can we take this? Okay, it doesn't work. Ah! Oh, there we go. Got it. All right, so we got a flashlight. Uh, I guess we don't need the horn. I don't know. Like, what? I want to use it. Why can't we use it? I feel like we could use this almost as like a weapon, but I guess not. There is a freaking cave. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon. Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. I used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. Like, screw it. I'm not letting this detour get in the way of us exploring. And we have a freaking flashlight, so that's it. Hello! Cave's closed. This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so... Maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. 
Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Oh, sorry, Hank. Alright, so it looks like we found a way through the cave, so I'm glad we decided to go in it. Alright, let's see where we are on the map, because it is getting dark fast. So I believe we, yep, we can uh, make our way back to our lookout this way, so we are good to go. Alright, we don't need to talk in our thing. Climb up here, buddy boy. Oh god. Oh god, what's happening? What is happening? What is this? Can we get over here? We're trapped? Hmm. Uh oh. Can we. I don't know if we can get over here. Guys, I think we might have to go up or something. Oh god. Let's not die. Not today. Alright, here we, we just have to go up here, guys. <laughs> I was freaking out. I was like, oh god, it's the dead end. We're screwed. Oh, we gotta jump. Oh yeah. That's how we do it. Dude, this guy looks freaking amazing with the clouds and everything. Alright, let's make our way up here. Woo, this is quite the drop off. We just go up here. Just keep going up higher. I think, hopefully, we're going the right way. I definitely want to just double check real quick. Uh, yeah, we're, we're kind of making our way up. Alright, dude, there's some serious climbing. Holy crap. We have to go that way, don't we? Probably have to put this way. Climb the rocks. Yeah. Upsy daisy. <laughs> All right. Oh god. Dude, there's just this is just like a climbing simulator, honestly. I kind of wish there was like almost like a quick time, kind of like until dawn type stuff for climbing up this stuff. Might make it a little bit more interesting. All right, let's keep let's run. It's pretty much it's pretty much nighttime already. So I guess, I don't know if there's any kind of like dangerous animals that come out. Like I feel like wolves would be prevalent, maybe some uh, bears, some black bears. Alright, we're almost there. We're um, yeah, uh, yep, there we go. We definitely got our workout today, guys. Trail closed to the side. Uh oh. Smooth, Damn it. very smooth. All right, so we uh, we definitely made it back in one piece. That's a good thing. Um, let's go. Exp what is around here? What is this? It's a wooden sign. Oh, okay. Um, definitely looks interesting. I'm gonna just toss that on the ground right there. Okay, let's see what is around here. It's a typewriter. Uh, what can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground outside of my tower. You right? Yeah. Look, uh, the wind. No. How the hell? Some are broken. Inside. Fuck me. Dude, do we have any sort of weapon? I feel like we should have at least like a teaser or something. Oh god. Oh, someone bent through our crap. Dude, someone for sure broke in. Look at this. Oh my god, they stole our bed stuff. That is messed up. Someone broke in. Hey, what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Kill him. Uh, I'll let the forest service know what happened. All right. Um, we should probably just drop this somewhere. I don't know where to drop the typewriter right here. <laughs> nice job. Um, eek! I don't know what to do. All right, we we already reported it. Is there anything that we need to? Okay, I put in a call. Okay, that's good. Oops. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Do you have any idea who would have done this? Um, I don't who know. is out here? Who's it out couldn't here? been the girls. I mean, I don't know either. I've never had a lookout be a target for violence. Great. I, I can't believe someone would do this. I mean, I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about dude, who knows what out there. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm gonna call my friend. 
Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Um, just tell me where to find a gun. The Forest Service weapons cache, and I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. Yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and a gun was kind of a bad idea. Grenades? I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Grenades, yes. That would be perfect. All right, day two. We are on to day two. Whew. All right. Good old coffee. We got our typewriter set up again. We're good to go. Nice broken window. Hey, yeah, hey, hey, I, I, I'm awake. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? All right, we fixed things up. Sorry, this is all we have. Problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. There's, uh, no, there's backup. no backup. The backup is the two-day hike out of here. So that's a no. It's easier for me to send all the lookouts out to check the status of the wire in their areas. Yours is a good hike away. If you find any portion of it down, I can try to get a hold of a ranger and he'll bring someone in to fix it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. Alright, uh, it's, it's Henry. Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, what a jerk. All right. Um All right, so we need to go back out through here. This is the outhouse. We can't go in there. Well, I don't even know why we would want to go in there, but we want we went through here and then oh, I thought I saw something back here. Okay, maybe not. But we want to go back. We got to hike back down. Oh, great. Drop down. All right. This is going to be... Oh, I feel like that would hurt on our knees. All right. Uh, space bar. Jump down. There we go. All right. I wish we could just, like, kind of, like, run through this and jump like a crazy man. But this is more of a realistic type game. All right. So I think we need to go back through the canyon area where we came back through it so I guess I don't know if we were supposed to go that way or I guess there's I mean it kind of gives you two options you can either go through the canyon way or you could go through the back uh, way where we came from once we were at the lake if that makes sense I'm probably confusing everyone right now so I'm gonna stop all right hopefully we can uh, see some more animals I wonder if there's any animals around here I want to freaking fight a like, grizzly bear cold morning report yeah we, we better report this fog guys not. All right, here we go. Back in the cave. I wish we had our key. I wonder if we can get the key. Want to get the key? All right, so let's go through here. All right, so this looks pretty cool with the fog. We we got that, and so we want to go. Is this the way we want to go? I'm not sure. I don't know which way we're supposed to be going right now. Alright, uh, so we're there. I wasn't really listening to her, guys. I need help. I need help. Where do I go? Survey communications of lines north of the canyon. Alright, so north of the canyon. So we're, we're, I mean, we're going north of the canyon. Right? Yeah, we're going north of the canyon. So I think we're going the right way for sure. Okay, I'm just gonna roll with it. I think it will tell me if we're not. Okay, let's see where do we, okay. I don't know if we wanna go down here. I think we can cross up here though. Let's try to do that. All right, here's the down, here's the down wire. We should definitely not do anything about it guys cause it's uh, we're gonna die for sure. There's no question. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Go to hell. 
That's actually good to hear. I can send someone out to fix it. Good find. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. It's snipped clean through, and there's a bunch of beer cans out here. The same beer those girls were drinking. They also left us a, a message. <sighs> These idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? Kill them. I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Mm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am gonna need a raise. <sighs> don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Well, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Okay, so I guess it was the teens? Or maybe that's what they want us to think? I just feel like that's really sinister what they did for a bunch of girls, but then I guess I'm underestimating um, the evilness of these girls. They could be evil, you know, who knows. I'm just trying to figure out how, how the frick to get out of here. Jeez. Alright. Because we we had to like jump down from that huge ledge over there. But how do we get back? Do we go this way? Can we? I feel like we should be able to jump down here. Okay, or not. Or not. There's a cachet box over there. That I was, keeping, I was keeping my eye out on. I really want it. I don't know if we can... How are we going to get down there right now? Go to the supply drops. There it is. Oh, this one's big. I'm excited to see what's in this one. Two, three, and four. There we go. Give us something good. Oh, nothing is in here. Are you cereal? Are you kidding me? There's nothing in there. That is so lame. Holy crap, this is quite the view up here. Alright, so I guess we should probably head back. We, we need to find out where those girls are and where the camp is. That is our mission right now, guys. Freaking messing up all our crap is not right. Alright, let's head back through this way. Oh, wait. Okay, I see something over here. All right, so we just have to cross over here. Looks like someone's backpack got caught on here. I don't know how. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. What did we get? What did we get? Oh, flat camera. Um, ooh, we, we definitely could well, use I this. I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Um, so we can use a disposable camera if we want to take a, it's a quick picture. Anyway, this. yeah, Brian Goodwin. Beautiful. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad Ned three summers ago. Or how the Are frick you can you get down here? You can bring oh, wait, children yeah, there's here. another rope thing. Mm, no, you know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Huh. 
Alright. Get down here. Okay. Anyway, so it goes. Have uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Thank you, Delilah. Alright, hopefully there's actually stuff in here. Uh, there's a fossilized claw. Okay. Looks like something from a velociraptor. Let's drop that. And loose stone. Great! Very useful things, guys. Thank you. Thank you for this. Alright, let's just make our way towards uh, Jonesy Lake. Jonesy or Jonesy? Jonesy? Oh, what is this? It's gated off. What? Is this electric fast offense? No trespassing. No trespassing. US code 130. Port fence. Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain link fence? A chain link fence? Yeah, it looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh, that's weird. So she has no idea about it. That's creepy. I feel like there's some really shady stuff going on here. And this rock looks freaking awesome. Over here. Okay, this yeah, is definitely no a new spot. About what's going on with that. I'll ask next time I talk to someone, but <laughs> oh. probably be a few days. Um, we should probably... Uh, there's burn a burn section area. of forest, I have no idea where to go. Their trail is pretty cold at this point. You're out by Mule Point. No one would camp out in the fireweed. Well, I want you to stay out there as a favor to little old me. My pleasure. <sighs> okay, we know these young women are sloppy. They must have left some sort of trail. Alright, let's just keep exploring. I'm sure something will pop up. Alright. Let's see. Come on. Where's our freaking I've had detective? a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Excuse me, flapjack? You know, like a loser, a chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. All right, let's see what's up here. I, I have a feeling that something's gonna pop up around here. I mean, we're in a completely new area. Oh. Okay, there has to be something around here. Let's just go down here. I feel like our instincts could be right, or it could be completely wrong, you know, whatever. There is a smoke signal, but that, I think that's just the other lookout, isn't it? All right, come on. Holy crap, this is definitely the biggest, like, area that we've had to climb down. That is steep. Another one. Another one. Another one. Alright, let's stop. Okay, here we go. Make our way down here. Alright, this is cool. I like this. So, did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. I'm actually married. But you're here. She's sick, and I shouldn't be here, but I am. I... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. Alright. So, I guess, I mean, we're, we went through here before, but we're trying to get to the lake again. Are we going the right way? Yeah, we are. So I'm guessing somewhere around the lake we're going to find some more evidence of where they went. And then hopefully we'll find their camp and then mess it up. Uh, maybe sacrifice an animal where they're sleeping. So that kind of scares them away. I want to go up here. I don't think we've been up here. 
Let's, let's just keep exploring. Here we go. Alright. It's actually... Uh, we can't go up there. Okay, we gotta cross hey, this sucker. See, see what? Yeah, I think so. That thin plume of smoke? Oh, yeah. it's over there. Looks like it's way down to the southwest. You should be able to find a way over there from the meadow by the lake. Towards Five Mile Creek, it's oh, in it's the right southwest there. quadrant of your map. Well, you, I you see it. It's those girls? I'm pretty sure it's a campfire, so yeah. I'd call that a safe bet. Man, they really do not give a shit, do they? They're probably dead, <sighs> honestly, guys. It's gonna be a twist. There has to be a twist. Oh, what the frick? Freaking rock everywhere. Right, how do we get past here? Alright, um... Seriously, I don't know how to get around. Can we go around the lake? What are those sounds? I'm kind of freaking out, guys. So we're back at the lake. Don't know how we're going to get back there. Alright. Smoke signal go? Okay, so it's right there. So I guess we have to make our way through here. Okay. We got this. I'm very interested. I want to know what happens, guys. This, this episode might be a little bit longer than my last one, just so I can get everything. So it's not like freaking like 10 episodes of Firewatch. Alright, let's see. I feel like I'm... I don't know how to get up there. I mean, like... Okay, where did the column of smoke go? Are you, are you missing it? Oh, crap. Okay, we're going the right way. We can go this way, I think. I feel like there's another way, but maybe... I don't know how to get there. Seriously, don't. Alright. Go up here. Making our way down this little thing. I don't even know what it's called. It's just a cliff. Just chilling. What does she have? She's got Alzheimer's. Like, um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Well, we didn't really understand what was happening. You don't get Alzheimer's in your late 30s. No kidding. But even then, we didn't really get it until she couldn't work anymore and I couldn't <coughs> leave her alone. It wasn't until then that I said, oh, this is it. This is over. That was hard. I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't. Don't, Pine don't cones. even. I'm happy to listen. And... You know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. Alright, let's go. It's getting dark again. Alright, we gotta make our way. Find Lush Woods Report. We gotta find it. Boy, for it's as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Nice. Just what we wanted. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Alright, how... We, oh, we can't climb up the waterfall. What am I thinking? This one, I gotta go around it.
I seriously don't even know where the smoke went. Like, where did it go? Vista. Hey, what's to the south of here? Um, Mexico? Is this some sort of riddle? I just have a nice view to the south. You know, trees and mountains forever. Well, eventually you wander into the area overseen by Chimney Rock Lookout, but that's probably an impossible hike in terms of terrain. Okay, I found another beer can, so they have to be around here somewhere. Oh, I forgot where the smoke signal went. Oh, here it is. We found the teen campfire. Freaking fine. Right, we gotta stamp this out. I see a campsite, and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? That seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down, and don't let them see you. What a job this is. I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, Do the bears ate them. Good. You know, maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. Uh, looks like someone left a note. Dear Psycho. Maybe you should read it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Let me know what it says. <laughs> Um, can we read it to her or pick it up? Dear Psycho, I hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped up us out in the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross. Ow. <laughs> you're probably a mental fucking axe murderer and we are so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks stick. So it wasn't them. I knew it. I knew it couldn't have been them. It was someone else. Someone else for sure. So we better tell Delilah this. So we gotta hold that stuff. Report note. Oh, they're gone for sure. Well, what's it say? Threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my God. Well, did you? I didn't do anything to them, but it looks like someone had it out for them. Then why do they think it's you? Fuck, I don't know. Huh. Hey, I don't. I believe you. Come on, Henry. All right. All right. It's just, it's weird what happened out here. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. All right, guys. Well, I think we're gonna go ahead and end the episode right here. Uh, let me know what you guys think. If you guys want me to continue this, and I freaking will. It's definitely getting more interesting. So we have a third person out there, or people out there, who are messing with us and other people. So that's not good. Alright guys, I think it's about time to hit that booty mix. I'll see you guys later. Bye.